with so much economic news lately, we wanted to answer some of the questions that you had. We now turn over to our 18 News reporter, Sarah Wilson, who joins us live in the studio with a special guest. Good evening, Sarah. Hey, good evening, Kevin. That's right. I'm joined by Steve Kyle, who is an associate professor at the Charles H. Dyson School of Applied Economics and Management. Professor, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We will get right to it with our first question. Weighing on the minds of so many Americans across the nation, do you believe we are in a recession? Well, I will go with it's hard to say. I do teach uh, undergrads at Cornell that two quarters in a row of negative GDP growth is the technical definition of a recession. Session. On the other hand, these are not normal times. And if you look at uh, GDP, yeah, it shrank uh, for two quarters, uh, but um, employment is going gangbusters. So in a normal quote unquote recession, you would expect jobs to be starting to be hard to find. You would find uh, various types of activity heading downward. And, and we're seeing a very mixed bag. On the negative side, uh, the Federal Reserve did raise interest rates, and we're seeing construction, home sales, the home market really respond to that. They are a major part of why we saw the negative numbers today. In addition, the federal government ended all the various stimulation programs that we had going last year, so government spending is falling, and those two things are the major downdrafts that we're looking at. On the other hand, consumer spending is rising still even this quarter. So it is something of a battle, I guess you could say, between the parts of the economy that are doing well and the parts that are not. Um, it remains to be seen what will happen. What do I think? Well, if we were looking at a normal business cycle, we would look at the housing market cooling off in response to higher interest rates and say that is a typical precursor to a recession. So it's no surprise that people are talking about it. You touched on this a little bit. What else can we expect to see in a recession? Well, what we would expect to see after we see you know, the normal progression would be we'd see housing cool off. We would see other interest sensitive areas also start to cool off and go negative. But there's the problem. We are now seeing consumers after years of being stuck in lockdowns wanting to buy services. They want to go out. They want to go on vacation. They want to eat dinners out. They want to not be marooned in their homes anymore. And we don't really know how interest sensitive that is. It, it, hasn't necessarily been that so been so sensitive in the past uh, and consumers are really spending so we'll see what happens if in fact the federal reserve continues these large interest rate increases well they can uh, cool off inflation but that happens by slowing the economy down and we will see that if that if they continue on their course of raising interest rates we will see the economy continue to slow down and we probably will see a recession end of this year sometime next year 